You boys be quiet down there! <laughs> Today on Neo Geo Generation, we'll be once again looking at an unreleased game. NGH number 026, Fun Fun Brothers, 1991 from ADK. The game size is 26 megabits. Wait, is the title Fun Fun Bros? Anyway, Fun Fun Brothers holds the distinction of being the first playable prototype game for the Neo Geo to be publicly discovered. In 1997, a VHS tape showing gameplay was made by fans and distributed to other fans via the DHP Neo Geo mailing list. The video credits John M for the 2 minutes and 24 seconds of gameplay. The footage from that tape is what you're seeing here and throughout this video, as it's all that's been made public. The game is currently thought to be owned by a private collector, where it is hopefully at least preserved and safe. No ROM dump of the game is currently publicly available, so the game's status is unknown. We can only hope that one day this game will be made available for generations to experience and enjoy. That belongs in a museum! We've actually already discussed this game in this video series. You lied to me. It wasn't lies, it was just bullshit. If you haven't already, you may want to go back and watch the Sunshine and Block Paradise video for more information on the history of this game. Additionally, some new information has been discovered. Block Paradise is now believed to be a second iteration of Sunshine, rather than simply a regional variant of it. Sunshine appears to have had its gameplay updated and was renamed to Block Paradise in 1990 which means that rather than simply occupying NGH number 008 on the list, Sunshine is most likely NGH 008, or another unused NGH number, while Block Paradise is NGH number 012, or 013, or 015. Sunshine and Block Paradise are not merely one lost Neo Geo game, but two. This explains the graphical differences between the screenshots of gameplay and the title screen. Among the screenshots currently available, all the emulated ones appear to be from Block Paradise, while we only have Sunshine screenshots from print media. It also explains the discrepancy in the name for your special moves in the game, Squalls vs. Sunshines. Interestingly, they appear to be called Squalls in Sunshine, while they're called Sunshines in Block Paradise. Also, footage of Block Paradise is now publicly available, but there is no known footage of Sunshine. Block Paradise is believed to be privately owned, while the status of Sunshine is unknown. But back to the subject of today's video. The revisions of the game didn't stop there. Despite both versions of the game being completely finished in 1990, Block Paradise was once again recalled, reworked, and given a new theme. In 1991, a development cartridge was assembled by SNK as a sample for testing. The cartridge contained the new version of the game, now known as Fun Fun Brothers, and was given the new catalog number NGH026. The basic gameplay of Sunshine, Block Paradise, and Fun Fun Brothers is the same. Yet, even with the reworking, the new version was yet again left unreleased, leaving yet another hole in the NGH number catalog. You heard that right, the same game left three holes in the NGH catalog, most likely NGH008, NGH-012, or some variation of the unused numbers, and NGH-026, and all three versions of the game were never released. How often does a train go by? So often you won't even notice it. So perhaps someone at ADK felt that the sunny island setting of Sunshine and Block Paradise was too boring, and that the same gameplay would sell better with different theming. I mean, come on, who would choose a bright, tropical setting as their puzzle game theme? That new theming they came up with is a pretty shameless ripoff of the 1980 film Blues Brothers, based on the blues and soul band of the same name, founded by comedians Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi on Saturday Night Live. The movie is a classic, and the game was basically the same setup. We're on a mission from God. A bad real estate company has cheated an orphanage out of their title deed. The two brothers are thieves, thieves of justice, who must steal jewels from the ICE Corporation to save the orphanage. So basically, the game and the movie both involve imperiled orphanages that need money, and the game's character designs are more than a little inspired by the Blues Brothers characters, to the point where this game could have easily been made into a licensed Blues Brothers game. 
The difference is that in the movie, the Blues Brothers need to reunite their band and perform a concert to pay the orphanage's property taxes, rather than simply stealing the money back like in Fun Fun Brothers. We gotta figure out some way to get that money, honestly. By the way, the Blues Brothers did have an official video game developed by Titus France in 1991 and released for several PC platforms, as well as the NES and Game Boy. The game also got a sequel. Ironically, the actual Blues Brothers games from Titus seem to have less in common with the property than Fun Fun Brothers. They're just generic platformers, and in the second one you collect vinyl records, which I guess is pretty on brand. I've gotta record you. We've already gone over the basic gameplay of Fun Fun Brothers in the Sunshine video. Vertical pairs of colored square blocks fall from the top of the screen. This time the blocks are jewelry, and they're being dropped from the top of the building by one of the brothers. Your goal is to make rows of three of the same color, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Unlike similar puzzle games from the time period, such as Tetris and Columns, rather than using the joystick to control the falling pieces, you actually control the truck at the bottom of the screen onto which the pieces land. Wait, since when do the Blues Brothers drive a truck? Traded the Bluesmobile for this? No. In Sunshine, if you failed to catch the blocks, the water at the bottom of the screen would rise one level. But it's unknown what happens when you don't catch a block in Fun Fun Brothers, since it never happens in the footage we have. If the height of the jewels stacked on the truck reaches the top of the building, the brothers are arrested and the game is over. Use of unnecessary violence in the apprehension of the Blues Brothers has been approved. If you match five jewels in the shape of an X, you will get a special bonus. The vertical line in the middle of the screen allows you to take aim with your gun and fire at the jewels. Press the A button once to shoot the jewels and make the pair fall faster. Shooting the jewels a second time will cause the colors to rotate or swap places. Press the B button to use a lucky bomb, which will clear all jewels of the same color as the bomb from the playfield. You can earn more lucky bombs by achieving a lucky bonus. This bonus is attained whenever a special flashing X formation of jewels appears, if you can put the X in the center of an X pattern with four jewels of the same color. Based on the footage we have of both, Fun Fun Brothers seems to have been given at least some new music, different from Block Paradise. The opening music has been changed, which means that Fun Fun Brothers could have a new soundtrack or new arrangements throughout to match the new theming. What kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. The short, less than two and a half minutes of the soundtrack we get to hear in the available clip is very tantalizing. Toward the end of the clip, a little more than 35 seconds into the main BGM, it starts to vary a bit by removing one of the instruments playing the main melody. It's just enough to make you curious about what else is in the game that we never get to see and hear. Maybe there's someone watching this video saying, So what? It's just a crappy puzzle game that wasn't good enough to even get released. But if, like me, you love the Neo Geo and have played everything, or just about everything it has to offer, then a lost game like this is a very big deal. So just let us dream. It doesn't matter how fans reacted to the game back in the early 90s anymore. Artists at ADK worked hard on this game, and their work is worthy of being experienced by everyone. Why was ADK's first puzzle game recalled and given this Blues Brothers makeover? Was Fun Fun Brothers left unreleased due to fears of a lawsuit from the owners of the Blues Brothers IP? We can only speculate, because as of now, no one seems to know for sure. But this game was certainly far from the only game in history to be recalled and given a makeover like this. Any video game, released or unreleased, could have a distant ancestor that we never saw and may never know about. So that, in a nutshell, is everything we currently know about Fun Fun Brothers. Let's hope that one day everyone will be able to experience this game. If you have any information about the whereabouts of this game or any other lost Neo Geo game, then please post to one of the many popular online Neo Geo forums or on social media. If you know about this game, then please tell the world. For every mystery, there is someone, somewhere, who knows the truth. Perhaps it's you. What do you think? Does it look like fun, or did ADK make the right call by passing on this one? 
leave a comment below and join me next time on Neo Geo Generation, where we'll be looking at Minasan no Okagesama Des, another Japan-only Mahjong game. Why does this game exist, and why do the characters look so weird? The goal will be to provide Neo Geo fans who are not inclined to play it a rundown of the game so you can see what you've been missing. See you next time!